In our bodies, we have fine networks of the lymph vessels. The network absorbs the lymph fluid created from the blood peripherally and returns it into the deep vein of the body. Lymph fluid contains much proteins and lymphocytes. The lymph nodes exist on the way from the distal to the proximal parts of the body as a barrier to the agents or cancer cells to prevent them to spread out in the body. Lymphedema of the extremities can be developed as a result of the lymph node extirpation, irradiation, or chemotherapy to destroy the pathway of the lymph fluid. We can see flow or stasis of the lymph fluid as blue, green, and or red spot in the images obtained by SPECT-CT lymphocytography, which is new modality to evaluate lymphatic functions. We can see lymph stasis in the subdermal layers. Lymph flow in the affected limb varies according to the patients with lymphedema. Therefore, we developed the Yokohama method for lymphedema to improve edema effectively for lymphedema patients with various degrees of lymph dysfunctions. The Yokohama method is based on both microsurgical procedures and combined decongestive physiotherapy. First of all, we take SPECT CT lymphocytography before starting the Yokohama method. The images obtained by SPECT CT lymphocytography can be divided into five types according to the sites of dermal backflow of the contrast medium and presence of the regional lymph nodes. The patients with type 2 to 4 that are mild to moderate degree in lymphedema are good candidates for the Yokohama method. Preoperative combined decongestive physiotherapy in this method is very important because it gets more easier for microsurgeons to find the lymphatic vessels during surgery. The subcutaneous tissue reduces its volume and gets soft by the physiotherapy. We always measure the circumferences of the affected limb and check the effectiveness by the physiotherapy. Beginning with temporal bandaging with soft materials and add another bandaging with short stretched bandage. This multi-layered bandaging reduces the volume of the affected limb effectively. While releasing the bandaging, we also do manual massage with strong pressures to push up the limb fruit upwards, which make the skin of the affected limb softer. The patient wears special garments made by soft materials during night. The garments are order made fitted to the foot, leg and thigh of the patient. We mainly use not bandaging but flat knit compressive stockings with short stretch during day to reduce volume of the leg. At each visit, we apply the best fitted stocking for your leg. The size of the stocking usually get down according to improvement of edema. The lymphatic vessels are very small with outer diameter of about 0.3 mm or so. We use a microscope and special sutured with needle. Microsurgical techniques are required for lymphatic venous side to end anastomosis. The lymphatic vessels and the veins are sutured in the mode of side to end because original flow of the lymph is not disturbed if the anastomosis get occluded. This is fluorescence lymphography. Firstly, endocyanin green is injected subcutaneously in the interdigital spaces of the foot and intercyanin green flows in the lymph vessels toward the root of the leg. 
The lymph vessels can be detected by using the special camera system. Now, we decided the incision sites for anastomosis. We ligate the vein and cut the side wall of the lymph vessel with a special micro knife and are anastomosing the vessels with 11O suture with needle. We do postoperative massage and compression to improve patency of the anastomosis. We will tell you how to massage your leg effectively. This is six months after surgery. You can see the lymph flows from the lymph vessels to the vein in the video of ICZ fluorescence lymphography. The protocol of the Yokohama method is firstly to take lymphocentigraphy to evaluate lymph dysfunction and decide surgical indications. Secondary, to do preoperative combined decongestive physiotherapy to make surgery easier. Thirdly, to do lymphatic venous side to end anastomosis. Fourthly, to do postoperative combined decongestive physiotherapy to maintain patency of the anastomosis. Finally, to evaluate the anastomosis by fluorescence lymphography about a half of a year later. We believe the Yokohama method is the best treatment for both obstructive and primary lymphedema at present.